Hello friends, Naya Swami Raymond here and it's time to ask a yogi. What is karma? Ordinarily we think of karma as something bad. In fact, the meaning of the word is simply that um, it's the consequence of action. Action of thought or memory or actual deeds that we do. Karma is the equivalent in the metaphysical realm um, or in the physical realm, it's the equivalent of action and reaction and uh, cause and effect. We live and breathe by the uh, simple fact that we have the power to change things in our lives, to act and have an effect. Just as the law of gravity is essential to our experience of uh, being in a human body and living on this earth, so action and reaction and cause and effect are a necessary part of the natural world. And we are part of the natural world. Karma, therefore, is that consequence of our thoughts and actions, that uh, the consequences of which accrue to us, the doer of action. Now, karma is necessarily tied in with the concept of reincarnation because clearly not all of our actions find their necessary corollary or boomerang effect or consequence in any one given life. But I'll stay away from reincarnation for the moment because I'd like to ask us the question of whether or not karma can be overcome. Karma certainly can be overcome. Even though we think of karma as bad and even though we think of when bad things happen that we have done something bad in order to deserve it, that's not necessarily always the case. For those on the spiritual path, it is healthier to imagine those things which might otherwise be considered bad that happen to us as opportunities. Opportunities to remain even-minded and cheerful under difficult circumstances, opportunities to affirm our faith and the underlying goodness of all that happens, the goodness being we are there to learn a lesson, we are there perhaps to accept um, with equanimity perhaps the consequences of something we did do in the past. But it's actually more fun, more sweet, more devotional to see these things as gifts from God. Now, in the famous story of Job, where he was afflicted as a result of a a bet, you might say, that was placed between God and Satan to test him, and to see whether or not his faith would remain, even even if all of his material um, success and family were, were taken from him. And he did. He passed the test. But the lesson of that story was uh, the lesson of faith, to accept our tests willingly. It was not the lesson that um, all suffering, as we view it, is... Um, the result of our past bad actions. There's nothing wrong with taking responsibility for all those things that happen to us, but the truth is, is we can't see the threads of karma, the threads of action and reaction that bring certain things to us. It's better for us then to see as, uh, as a gift, to see God as testing our resolve to live for God, to live for truth to live in the thought of the goodness of providence, if you will. There's also the story of the man who was blind and Jesus and his disciples came across him and Jesus asked, was his blindness from his own sin before birth, Uh, implying reincarnation, but in any case, he sidestepped that question, or after birth or from his parents. Jesus said, no, his blindness was for the glory of God. Again, um, we can't actually say it wasn't the man's karma, but it was also his good karma. Not only was he healed, but he met Jesus Christ, uh, a great saint, and 
what he was healed of was not just his blindness physically, but his awakening to the goodness of God and the form of God in the personhood of Jesus. So um, the last thing I want to mention is that is that beautiful story whereby the woman who is considered by the town folk to be a sinner came to Jesus and washed his feet with her tears and ointment and so forth, much to the embarrassment of his host, who thought that was that she was an untouchable, impure and unclean, but Jesus said her sins are forgiven because she has loved much. You see, there's an escape clause to our karma, and that escape clause is to make the acquaintance with our soul, with God, is to seek to know, love, and serve God, to live ever in his grace, in his presence, and to uh, do the will of the Father. This is the, this is the means to salvation, which is to say freedom from karma. All right. Bless you all.